Hello, I'm Sabrina and I'm going to prove to you that you can make dinner in under 10 minutes using uh, the hoax cuisine technique perfected by Maggie Groff. Now, I'm going to make a korma curry, so what I've assembled here is five ingredients, some long grain rice, some Sharwood's korma curry paste, one carrot, uh, broccoli, just one sort of head of broccoli, and some leftover chicken that I had. First of all, you've got to prepare the rice because that's the thing that takes the longest to cook and I use the evaporation method. So that means that you put in one cup of rice and two cups of water. Uh, turn the flame up high and um, put the lid on so that you get the temperature really hot so that it comes to a boil really quickly. Next, you've got to chop up your broccoli, but of course first you have to rinse it. Now we chop up the carrots, and as you can see, for a couple of them, I've cut them into um, sort of half pieces as you get to the thicker end of the carrot, of course. So these ones are in half, but these ones are okay as little circles. Now, I steam my veggies first, so of course I put them in the oven, um, on the stove top, sorry, with a steamer, and underneath there's a little bit of water. I put the carrots in first because they take the longest to cook, and then I throw the broccoli in. But back to the rice for just a minute, and of course, uh, as I mentioned, it has to come to the boil. Now that it's come to the boil, I turn the temperature right down. So there I am, I've popped all the broccoli in on top of the carrot, and now I've put the lid on so that that can develop a lot of steam, and the vegetables can actually cook in the steam as opposed to boiling in the water. I steam my veggies for four minutes, and I use the kitchen timer on my microwave to make sure that I don't do it for too long. Now, while your veggies are steaming, you've got time to get onto your chicken. So what I do is I generally use uh, what I can from the leftovers, the breast parts I think are best for this. So um, I'm going to use both those breast bits. Before I start chopping, quick look at the veggies. Uh, they seem to be coming along nicely. Um, they've got that slightly uh, fluorescent look that they get when they're steamed to perfection. And then here's my rice. Had a closer look at that. See how you can still see a little bit of liquid. That means that the uh, rice hasn't evaporated quite enough water. So it needs to uh, go right down before I can um, take that off the boil. Now here's the chicken again. And what's important to remember is to cut the chicken across the grain. So you're actually not having long stringy pieces. You're having quite short textured pieces. Uh, this is what it should look like when it's all chopped up. Now, I think it's really important to use a nice curry um, simmer sauce. So I always use the Sharwoods one, and it turns out really well. Next step is to empty the liquid out of the pan that you steam the veggies in, then tip them back in along with the carrot and, of course, the chicken and the broccoli. And then you give it a good stir and just make sure that it's all combined nicely. Then you tip in the curry paste and you've got to give it a good stir so that it all mixes in together nicely. This is what it looks like when it's combined nicely. And what you do now is you put the lid back on the pot and you bring the flame up to the boil again. A quick check on my rice and it's starting to look nice and fluffy. As you can see, the grains are starting to separate. That's exactly what you want. And here we have a shot of the finished product. Uh, it's colourful, looks healthy, and it took me less than 10 minutes, which is more important than anything.